Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Leah Toshie. Welcome, happy to have you here. And in today's video, I am finally doing another review. I know that everyone loves the reviews. I love doing them, but I don't like to force the reviews. So if there's nothing I truly wanna try, I'm not gonna force myself to try things if I already like what I'm using, if that makes sense. That being said, I am in the market for a new shampoo and conditioner. I have a ton of shampoo and conditioners in my bathroom right now. They're all almost empty, but nothing is really helping my hair right now. And I will get into the details of my hair and everything in the video. Um, but today I'm gonna be trying the, I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly because I've never really heard of this brand, but it's Malin and Getz shampoo and conditioner. But before we get into it, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. I do weekly vlog as well as doing some other videos like this one. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so if you can't tell, I just got back from the gym. This is why I look like that. I haven't washed my hair in seven or eight days, plus I've gone swimming. And like I said, I went to the gym. So my hair is really, really nice. Nasty. I will show you guys what it looks like before I wash and everything like that so you can get a good a good look at it um, But first I wanted to talk about the shampoo and conditioner that we're gonna be trying I am gonna be trying this shampoo and conditioner for eight weeks and in that eight weeks I will probably wash my hair about ten times. I usually wash my hair every five to eight days um, But I've noticed that ever since I cut my hair a lot shorter. It does get oily a lot faster not really sure why that is because the length of my hair shouldn't change how oily my scalp gets but maybe it's just because when my hair is shorter i touch it more i'm not too sure but my hair does get oily a lot faster so i should wash it about 10 times maybe less maybe more in a two month period um, if i feel like i need to test it out a little bit longer i will but the goal right now is eight weeks so two months so first let me give you a quick rundown on my hair if you're new to my channel um my hair used to be down to my belly button it was pretty much like that my whole entire life for the most part um, and it's usually dark like this um, in the past year I have gone fully platinum blonde um, I also did chop my hair off when it was blonde so as far as how damaged my hair is it did get damaged in the process of going blonde bleaching your hair is going to damage your hair period whether you do it correctly and slowly like I did or not if you're not naturally blonde the bleach is going to damage your hair either slightly or a lot depending on how you do it my hair is slightly damaged it's not super super damaged where it just breaks off or anything like that So even though my hair is back to dark now It is still damaged underneath because the bleach is still on my hair probably starting probably to my ear I would say it's probably grown out to my ear if not a little bit above So that's the hair that feels a little bit like you can tell it was bleached my hair type is Wavy slash curly naturally. It is very very thick and very, very coarse. Anyone I've had my hair done by knows my hair is very, very thick and very, very coarse. It's a lot. I have a lot of hair. So when it comes to shampoo and conditioners, I am looking for hydration because where my hair was bleached, it is very dry. And then also my scalp gets not dry. I would say my scalp is pretty normal, but for some reason I will get like little dry flakes in my hair, but I don't really think it's for my scalp being dry. I think it's because I was waiting too long in between washes. So then it's like more of a buildup of product and dry shampoo and oils and everything like that that's causing it to flake a little bit just to help improve my scalp get rid of any flakes or dryness and then also moisturize my ends so the reason why i got this brand of shampoo and conditioner is because i simply went on google and i googled what is the best shampoo and conditioner and i do know that if your hair is dead your hair is dead a product is not going to bring it back to life you just have to cut it if your hair is dead let it grow out keep cutting it but i would like to see a difference in my hair or just a slight change in like how dry it is and how it feels if it is possible so when i googled what is the best shampoo and conditioner this is what came up in several articles and um it's on amazon and has amazing reviews this video is not sponsored in any way shape or form i bought them on amazon but specifically what i got from them is the moisturizing shampoo it says it has 0.25 percent panthenol it says our shampoo synthesizes amino acids with plant extracts to deliver essential hydration to dry core 
coarse hair. That's what I have, dry coarse hair. This conditioning formula smooths and detangles while delivering improved shine. This had really great reviews, specifically the moisturizing shampoo, so that's the one I got. And then the conditioner I got is the cilantro hair conditioner. This also had really good reviews. This says that it has 0.36% cilantro extract. I did not know that cilantro was good for the hair, but we will see. It says that this conditioner is a multitasking conditioner formulated as an excellent everyday rinse. Try it as a leave-in treatment, a cream cleanser, or a styling aid. Oh, okay. It says botanical fatty acids, shea butter, and cilantro deliver weightless hydration, every hair type benefits. So you can use this on any hair type, has good ingredients. So I am excited to try these out. And I guess I'll just show you guys my hair now. I was gonna go in the bathroom and do it, but the lighting honestly, is trash in there, so I might as well just show you right now what my hair looks like. It will be really, really hard to tell on camera whether these products improved my hair or not. So you're kind of just gonna have to take my word for it because I'm not testing this to see like how much my hair grows in two months or anything like that. And my hair is very dark, so it's just hard to see. But again, this is not sponsored. I am not being told to say anything about these products. And I truly just wanna see if I think that it works well or if it's a good shampoo and conditioner. And if you've seen any of my other product review videos, I am brutally honest. But yeah, let's go ahead and go try these for the first time. Let's get started. Okay, let's talk first impressions. I definitely wanted to give you guys my first impression while my hair was freshly washed and everything and not wait too long so that you guys can see that my hair is clean and this is what it looks like after using the shampoo and conditioner for the first time. Okay, so first impressions overall, I feel like I like it, but like I mentioned before, I'm very critical and it takes me a while to know if I am obsessed with something or not, unless it's just like life changing off the bat. But usually when it comes to skincare, hair care, things like that, um, you have to wait and see how it continues to work or not work. So first talking about the moisturizing shampoo, I really, really like this so far. It smells so good. To me, it has a citrusy scent and I really, really like that. I did double cleanse my hair because I usually do when it's been seven or more days since I washed my hair because usually at that point, it's really, really really nasty and I need to double cleanse it because usually the first cleanse, it's not like the soap's not even penetrating because that's how disgusting my hair is. However, with this one, I felt like I actually didn't really need to do the second cleanse, which is nice. I did do it, but I didn't feel like I necessarily had to. I don't feel like the shampoo made my hair feel stripped or dry or anything like that. If you've ever used a shampoo like that, you know what I'm talking about. This does not do that. Um, my hair felt pretty nice after using the shampoo. So, so far, so far I like her and I really, really like the scent. It smells so good. And then the cilantro hair conditioner, just based on first impressions, if I were going right off the bat, I would say I like the shampoo more than the conditioner at this point. I think I'm just used to or typically prefer a very, very, thick, moisturizing, like overly moisturizing conditioning product, whether it's a conditioner or a hair mask. And this is just a very light conditioner. So it's good in the sense that if you have fine hair or your hair is naturally more oily or gets oily fast, you might like this because it's light. It doesn't weigh the hair down or anything like that. I'm just used to that extreme, extreme thick hydration type of product because my hair is so thick and coarse and dry. That being said, I don't hate this. It's just gonna take some getting used to for me. Like I, I put it on my hair and then since I'm used to that super slick feeling, I feel like I didn't put any in my hair. 
but afterwards when I rinse it out my hair does feel really nice and moisturized it doesn't feel super moisturized as if I was using a hair mask again but this is not a hair mask so let me just clarify that so in my brain I'm comparing the two which is kind of unfair I'm just used to hair masks because I use them all the time so I'll say first impression of the cilantro hair conditioner I do really like it it's different than what I'm used to but so far I like it I don't love the scent of the conditioner it smells I can't tell if it smells like cilantro to me or not. I guess it kind of does, but then it also kind of has this other smell that I can't quite put my finger on that I don't love. Also side note with cilantro. I know there's like this whole thing. I don't know if you guys have heard this. I've heard this from so many people that there are two types of people when it comes to cilantro. There's someone who loves cilantro. My mom loves cilantro. She fucking loves it. She will pile that shit on and eat it like she's a horse eating grass. Like just tons of cilantro. And then the second kind of person is the person who thinks that cilantro tastes like soap. Specifically soap, I am that person. So comment down below, so random, but comment down below which person you are. Do you love cilantro or do you think that it tastes like soap. But anyways, those are my first impressions of the shampoo and conditioner. So far, I do like them. Again, I like the shampoo more so far, but we're gonna see how it goes. I will continue to use these once or twice a week for the next few weeks, and I'll give you an update probably in about a month so that I have a good grasp on how I feel, and then we'll go from there. So I will see you guys in a month. Okay, it has been four weeks and I have washed my hair six times. So I wanted to give you guys an update because this is about the halfway mark. From the jump, I really liked the shampoo. And as of now, after using it six times, I do still really like it. I love the way that it smells and how it makes my hair feel. It makes it feel clean without it feeling stripped or dry or anything like that. And I would say I've used, I wish I could see in the bottle so I can tell you how much I've used, but it feels like I haven't even used half yet so I feel like I still have a long way to go with this which is good because it will last you quite a while so so far so good on the shampoo now the conditioner on the other hand from the jump I was kind of iffy on this and didn't love the way that it smelled I still feel the same way I really really don't love this conditioner it's definitely not bad it's not a bad product by any means Ugh. Just had to remind myself of the smell because I haven't washed my hair in probably like four days now. But I just feel like it's a very, very lightweight conditioner, which would be great for some people, I'm sure. It's just not extremely hydrating for a conditioner, in my opinion. Even just as a regular conditioner across the board, I feel like it's not that hydrating. But it does the job in the sense that my hair's not tangled or anything like that. It's definitely softer than if I just didn't use a conditioner at all. So as far as how it makes my hair feel, I think it's an okay product, but I don't love it so far. You never know, like maybe my hair is still adjusting, you never know, especially because I've only used it six times. But the scent, I hate the scent of this. It smells like you know what I think it smells like? I, I don't know if this is dead accurate, but it reminds me of either Play-Doh or how that like silly, goopy, like farting stuff smells. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? If you're at my age, you remember those little plastic tubs and it had like this ooey gooey slime stuff in it and you would like, that's so inappropriate. You would like push the stuff down into the tube and it would like make these fart sounds. This is how that smells. The smell isn't like long lasting or anything like that. It's pretty much just when you're in the shower, but I do not like the smell of this. I wish they would just put a little essential oil of something else in there, cause it stinks. So yeah, that's pretty much the update so far. Really like the shampoo, kind of in the middle on the conditioner, don't love it. Um, but I'm definitely gonna continue to use it because I wanna see how my hair continues to adjust. This is what my hair is looking like right now. I know it's hard. You can't tell if it's like getting any smoother or shinier or whatever. It's just hard to tell on here. You just kind of have to take my word for it. It feels nice. It feels fine. It feels honestly the way it felt before I started using these products. So yeah, kind of in the middle. Gonna see how it plays out. So I will continue to use them and I will update you guys in about four weeks. Okay, I am back. It has been eight weeks and I have washed my hair 10 times and I'm ready to give you the tea on Malin and Getz. 
still hope I'm saying that correctly. I washed my hair for the last time of this little experiment this morning. And over the past few times I've washed my hair, I really, really paid attention to my thoughts and how I felt about this shampoo and conditioner as I was using them, as I was rinsing them out, as I was brushing my hair after the shower, as I was styling my hair after I had just washed it, to really give you my accurate, true thoughts and opinions on this shampoo and conditioner. So let's start with the moisturizing shampoo. So previously I mentioned that I liked this product, I loved the way it smelled, I thought it worked pretty well, and at the end of the day, I still have similar thoughts about this product. Mm, it has its pros and its cons for me. It's a good basic shampoo. A little product goes a long way. It emulsifies nicely. Like I said, the scent, it smells really good in my opinion because it has a nice clean citrusy smell, which to me smells really good. Now that being said, it does claim on here essential hydration to dry coarse hair. So all that being said, I think it's an okay shampoo, but I don't think it's great. It claims to be a moisturizer hydrating shampoo and I don't feel like it was that not only to the strands of my hair and the ends of my hair that do tend to be more dry but also my scalp was pretty dry so prior to using this I was experiencing a little bit of flakiness on the scalp due to product and oil buildup because I was spreading my washes out so far but while I was using these shampoo and conditioners I kind of laid back on my other products just to I guess shine the light more so on these products than my other products that have nothing to do with this. So I didn't really use texture sprays. I used dry shampoo when I absolutely had to, but I didn't use it as like obsessively and as much as I typically would. So my hair was pretty much just with these products in and that's it. And I feel like I was experiencing the same, if not more flakiness on my scalp. My scalp was dry as the Sahara Desert and there was flakes of skin, like dandruff. I know it's normal for a lot of people, but that's not that normal for me unless I'm like kind of creating that problem, if that makes sense. It's just not normal for me is what I'm trying to say. I don't know if this made that happen, but it was happening on a regular basis every week. And I was like, Huh? Because this is supposed to be hydrating. So will I finish the rest of this and not just like throw it away or give it away? Yes, but would I repurchase this again? No. Moving on to the conditioner. You know my thoughts about how I felt about the conditioner. Hate the way it smells. But also these last couple washes, I really, really made sure to pay attention to what I was really not liking about the conditioner because I didn't want to blame it on things like I'm just not used to this type of conditioner type of thing. I wanted to like really think about like, why am I not liking this right now? What I concluded, this feels almost like if someone used majority of the bottle and then was trying to make it last longer and put water in it and shook it up it's not runny just like there's like nothing to it there's no like there's like it feels like there's nothing in it almost i don't even know if i'm making any sense as i'm applying it it just feels like i'm applying nothing but not in a good like oh it feels so lightweight it feels like nothing no no no. it feels like i'm putting nothing of substance that's gonna do anything to my hair on my hair but it doesn't feel like i just conditioned my hair and my hair just feels like super smooth and hydrated and like silky it does not give that it's not giving that it does say that it's a multitasking conditioner which is made Maybe why it has that consistency or why this is formulated that way. If you're someone who does the curly girl method and doesn't use shampoo and just cleanses your hair with conditioner, this I feel like would be good for that. But as a hair conditioner, which it says is its main thing, I don't feel like it's a good conditioner. And it says every hair type benefits. I don't know about that. If your hair is any types of thick or you have a lot of hair, I feel like this is not going to work well for you. So this is empty, but if I had any left, would I use it? No. And I definitely would not repurchase it again. I guess I should show you guys how my hair looks. This is what it looks like at the top, the ends. Let me know if you think it looks 
any different or any better or any worse. I don't know, but if you're just going off of what I'm saying, because I'm being completely honest with you guys, it feels about the same as when I started this, I would say, not any more or less healthy or hydrated or like shiny or anything like that. I, I don't know what all the hype is about on Miss Malin and Gets. Can somebody please inform me in the comments? If you use these exact products, how do you feel about it? What kind of hair do you have? Everyone's hair is obviously different. It's just interesting to me and that's that's honestly why I enjoy doing these reviews is because sometimes, I don't know, marketing is marketing. Everything's a business. People get paid to say things. People get paid to write things. People get paid to promote things. And in these videos, I'm saying whatever I want. Not saying that what I'm saying is the end all be all and that what I'm saying is correct. But I would love to know y'all's thoughts on this brand or these two products in the comments below. Maybe I'm missing something. Let a hoe know. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video and trying the Malin and Getz shampoo and conditioner. You guys just let me know if there's any specific products that you've been curious about that you would want me to try for an extended period of time because I would love to do it and I definitely want to start doing more of these again. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, please comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Apologies